Hey, Go Gang. So my nice friends at AI Sensei and I have presents for everyone here, which is pretty awesome. And we have uh, some giveaways, you know, so some people might get a little bit more presents, but that's okay. I have something for every one of you uh, in the form of a trial membership for one month. And I'll put I'll put the all the code and the info you need in the doobly doo. But basically, anyone who's watching this video right now can go to AI Sensei Sensei and get a membership. And I'm gonna this video we're gonna review actually one of my recent games. I think I actually played it last night. Maybe it was two nights ago. In AI Sensei, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you what works. I'll show you why you want to try it. Uh, and it's totally free. Like there's no sign up or anything. You can just actually use it for a month uh, and you know see if it helps you improve it. Go. Additionally. I'm going, I have several, uh, you know, higher level memberships for, uh, you know, to do some giveaways. So we'll, 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 we'll get to that later on in the video, but first let's just dive in. Let's do some go. Let's show you some of these AI tools at AI Sensei. They do a couple things this site that I really, really like. And so I want to show you those. I'll also show you some of the things I don't like, but again, I think the, uh, the good far outweighs the bad here. And uh, let's look at some Go. So this is like just almost any other AI uh, that you can install and run on your own system, except number one, one key difference is it's not using your own local hardware. And so if you guys are on tablets or laptops and you know, you're struggling to run you know, one of the, the engines, you know, Katago, Lizzie, all those things, you can use a service that, that will actually use you know, their own hardware to run all these complicated um, Go engines. And so in this game, I'm black, and you can see that. Um, this game was already reviewed. Each move has about 10,000 playouts, which is quite a bit. Now, if you are running your own engine on your own GPUs and using your own electricity, so there are situations where you want to go more than that. Currently, I think this is the maximum. And also, I think right now, uh, I think they're actually throttling it a little bit uh, while they're doing some more site upgrades. But, you know, hopefully that'll that'll improve soon. Um, and you can see on each move before before the moves played, it'll it'll tell you whether or not you know a good move is coming. It'll give you the plus or minus, just like you're used to reading out any other AI engine, and uh, you know it'll tell you what it thinks the score is, which is super cool. Uh, I can open up the score graph. Here's here's the flow of the game. You can kind of see it behind my big head, where white got a little bit of an advantage early on, like barely an advantage, um, and then I actually I took the lead for a while, and then it swung back in white's favor. We kind of fought over some things, and then some violence happened, and Black just, you know, in, in, in the end, I uh, was able to, to overtake my opponent. Um, this was, I think this was played as a, uh, this was against a, only a 3-Don on the OGS server. Um, so that's, that was my opponent. Anyway, so you can see for the most part we're playing good moves because they're all opening moves. You can see that, you know, they're all in the corners. They're all kind of expected where you would be. Of course, the AI wants to jump in here. Um, it does say that I lose... 0.2 of a points according to its you know best AI 10,000 playout calculation by approaching instead. Again, still calls it calls it a good move, not enough to call it a mistake. We will see some mistakes later on, <laughs> soon enough. White approaches again, still calls it a good move. And what's interesting is it has a student level slider, where if you slide it up far enough, yes, there we go. If we put it at nine don professional level, it'll actually start calling moves like this inaccuracies or even mistakes, depending on how you know, much the mistake is, which is uh, really useful, right? Because if you're 15Q, you don't need to worry about every fractional point, right? You're just trying to keep stay in the game. And this is going to be like, good move, good move, good move, buddy, good move, good move. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be far more praising for you. And just really focus on, on the key moments that matter, the really big swing moves, rather than all these little nitty gritty stuff. And, and so often when I have... Go, they're, you know, Go friends or students who review with Go engines. Man, it's just information overload, and, and what do you focus on? Well, AI Sensei, their their approach to it is, here, Here's have a slider. Have it call out the stuff that's important to you at your level. And so right now I'm just going to put it around Ford on. And I'm also, I, I, I also have no idea what rating system this is using, if it's like equivalent to AGA or or, you know, EGF, or who knows? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that question. Um, but it'll also have 
down at the bottom here. This is actually below my chair. You can't really see this, but maybe if I scroll up enough, there we go. You can kind of see it now. Uh, this will list all the mistakes for that level, and I'll actually tell you the move number and how much the mistakes swung the game by. So again, right off the bat, this is an AI tool that, that actually filters out your moves a little bit, rather than just putting it through an engine and seeing what the AI thinks of every move. It goes through and will actually identify what are the key moments. And again, you can identify, you can have it search for um, all mistakes, you know, for both you and your opponent, or just the ones for your own color. Or if you feel particularly vindictive, I guess, you can just search for the mistakes that your opponent makes. I don't know why, we, I, I mean, you could do that, but <laughs> for right now, I'll just leave it on my mistakes, and we'll turn that menu off. Anyway, so right there, you have some nice filtering tools. Nothing super revolutionary, but nice. Okay, we'll play a little bit more. Um, this is an interesting situation on the board. Uh, whites approach my 3-4 stone. Obviously, you know, we usually respond over here first. I'm trying to trying to cheat my way to a little bit of initiative, so I take a double approach move over here. The AI is not entirely happy with it, but it gets only a tenth of a point loss, so it's still like, yeah, good move. All right. Um, white leans, which is great, although uh, according to the AI, the AI wants to respond over here first. But at the same time, the AI wants me to continue over here, so it's, you know, like all these are such like, like who knows, right? The, like, like who know, like these are, I don't know, like, like, we can't act to actively figure out what's better to continue over here or continue over here. Um, even the computers, it's, the difference in points is so small, it's hard to actually feel conclusive about it. But certainly the AI has an opinion. And again, it's giving us all praise because we're all playing the AI moves. We're just playing blue move, blue move. And then here, white switches back instead of continuing. And so it goes back to being only good moves. Who cares, right? Don't focus on that. Just, just you know, again, look for the big mistakes. Um, for the most part. Although I would say this is, like for me during the game, this was actually a really interesting situation because both of us want to come back and play this move. So we have two different things going on and which one is bigger? Oh, so, so hard to evaluate. And even for the AI, right? It's, the AI is like, it doesn't matter. Like there, it's a fractional point difference. Um, but philosophically it feels, whoever gets to come back here and play first feels like they have, they'll have a momentum for this game. Feels like they win um, the opening. And again, it's all just giving us praise. And up to here, uh, we see the first inaccuracy, at least for the Fordon level. This is the first loss that's essentially over a point in the game. And White plays this Joseki. And this is very modern. This is a robot Joseki. Um, the AI very much just wants to connect here. Um, and again, different engines will evaluate this differently. So again, a little bit subjective, but it's big enough to, to call it a mistake. And... You'll see the reason why is that this move actually gives black time to essentially come back here. And uh, I immediately take advantage of that. So, you know, that's <laughs> that's the thing, right? It means black will get to play over here first. And basically this this Joseki is good for black. Again, we're this is this is high don level stuff. Like if you are playing at the 10Q level, screw all that, right? Put your slider down to 10Q and anything green or blue, just move on. Just move on. Like, this is not actually going to help you learn the go that you need to learn. I think it's really interesting from a theoretical perspective, but you can get hung up on it so easily. Anyway, um, we continue playing. Again, I, you can see I, I actually have a, a nice string of, of um, blue and green moves, all three here, basically. I've yet to make a single mistake or inaccuracy, according to this AI. And, you know, we play, we play, kind of play out these Josekis. Um, my opponent makes another mistake here, though, and tries to clamp a little bit too early before this group is settled. And the reason why this is a mistake, again, just conceptually, is that I have a kind of a weak group here, but if white forces it to get strong, man, this, this white group is going to suffer. And so white's tryharding a little bit too much here. White needs to settle down a little bit. Now, this, this brings me to really my first criticism of any AI tool, like even to this day. And I'll, I'll tell you how AI Sensei is trying to get around it. But the main criticism is that we still don't really have a good way of interpreting what the AI is thinking, right? On these deep neural node networks, when it comes back with a score of like, oh, this move is worth minus two points, getting the AI to interpret that and explain that in a heuristic that a human can understand hasn't really been effectively done. Like, it just hasn't. And so you can spend hours maddening yourself going through these games with an AI, doing AI review, and coming away just feeling fried and not getting much of it because you're, you're 
the computer's trying to train you to think like the computer, but you're not a computer. You have to, you have, you're a human. You have to think in heuristics and you have to think in concepts and strategy. And it doesn't all go into this giant neural node network, run a thousand variations and pop out a number at the end. That's not how your brain works. So how does uh, AI Sensei combat this? Well, they've just introduced what's called this discuss feature where you can take, you know, basically any board position and post it. Oh, good. I'm waking up in nine hours. Great. <laughs> um, go ahead. Ask the com- and you could you could post board positions and say, hey, what do you think of this? And have and have other people try to try to interpret the meaning of what the AI is saying. Now, this is a very new feature. Um, it's still very much being explored. Let's say let's say there's not a lot of culture for it yet. Um, I think as more users join join the site and more people get used to it, it might turn into something really great where. Uh, you know, like, like there used to be the, or I guess there still is the go teaching ladder, right? Where people would, would basically teach other players weaker themselves and also submit games reviewed to stronger players. And so there's this giant ladder of, of sort of people trying to teach each other. This is a little bit like that, um, this discuss community feature, at least in spirit. So, you know, they are actually bringing in humans to help other human, you know, other humans, that is, to interpret certain situations or game you might not understand. I don't know how it's going to work. But I like to see them thinking about it and addressing it because this is this is like the hu- the maybe number one hugest problem for trying to learn Go from an AI. Anyway, uh, we have this inaccuracy, you know, and I, I and I and I'm pointing this out just because I interpret this for you as oh, white if black gets really strong here, then the white group's going to suffer. So when when white dies in here, white's going to feel very busy. Again, I play some more blue moves. Um, this is good. Another blue move for me. And again, white plays another inaccuracy. It's just n- the timing feels wrong. We're giving um, black a little bit uh, too much strength because white's squirming around too much. That's the concept. But again, the AI doesn't tell you that. And all, none of the AIs will tell you that. If you're trying to learn, uh, you know, go or improve your game through AIs, you know, these are so hard to interpret. Anyway, here comes my first inaccuracy, right? My first mistake. AI says, okay, it's a 2.4 point loss. I just connect. I'm like, look, you're busy. I'm just going to stay strong. I have, I don't, I really don't have any worries here. I have this, this group is weak, but you're weak here too. You're weak here. All my stones are connected. I can even make an eye whenever I want. Like, I'm not feeling terribly weak here. All I have to do is just play strong, let you hang yourself. And so I just connect. The AI, however, says, no, 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 no. This, this is the wrong philosophy at this moment because we're not comparing uh, this. And again, this is one thing that I like. I like, I like reviewing my games with the OGS AI because they have the pencil tool. This isn't really quite set up for doing demoing yet. So that's not that, like, like if I was to add features to AI Sensei, man, I'd like to add a pen tool and be able to draw in an overlay here. Again, those tools don't exist yet. This is really much more useful for solo review, um, and again, posting things to the discussion, um, rather than, you know, teaching with it. Like, uh, for, for someone like me who's giving a presentation and teaching, eh, this isn't quite there. But again, it's not really geared for that. It's geared for reviewing your own games and improving your own games. AI Sensei says, no, 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 you need to come over here and, uh, push this group. Like, like, don't let this group lean to get out. After Black plays this move, again, I'll go immediately into an analysis. It's doing a 2,500 play out um, just to the situation. You can see how, how um, uh, White gets in trouble here, right? Is White gonna, is White going to follow up here? Now, this is a huge move, right? Cutting off these two stones and taking total command of this. This is huge. But Black's just going to encircle this. And it's going to be hard to live. And so, oh, man, like... like <laughs> If you follow through here, like the AI says you have to. Oh, interesting. Black says black should play here first. Not not um take this. Oh, white white to kill a corner. I want to move like this to to kill this corner. Wow, what a huge huge exchange. Okay, these are the weird rabbit holes AI can send you down, right? It likes these giant exchanges. Um I don't I'm obviously not gonna want to go down and explore them too much with you, but with an AI, you can take as much time to do that as much as possible. I know a lot of you are not using any AIs. Uh, you know, a lot of you, you, you play Go for fun, you, you study, but, you, you know, you work on problems and you, and you improve your reading, but you're not really, you know, the AI is foreign, right? The AI is this machine that, 
doesn't feel good to play with. <laughs> um, you know, you can, again, you get caught in these, these like mind loops that may or may not be healthy for your brain. Um, but it helps facilitate those things, right? So if you just want to explore what if scenarios, oh man, it does that really well. And this, and this AI, just like all the others does that also very well. So anyway, I just connect, um, and we have our first real mistake this game. And, this, and, and mistake in this scenario with forward on is defined as uh, minus 3.6 move. And I kind of wonder if I, yeah, so I move it to a 3Q, it's only an inaccuracy, right? 3Qs are sort of allowed to use, or allowed to make 3.6 point mistakes without uh, having it be called a mistake. How far do I have to go left here for it to be fine? 20Q? It still, it still doesn't like it, even for 20Q. 30Q. It's a good move for 30Qs. There we go. Look at this. Great move for 30Q. Come on, someone in here. 24Q. It says, oh yeah, this is totally fine. I would, you know, if I if I was teaching a 24Q, yeah, like I would, absolutely, this is more than fine. Actually, even if, even if this was like a 10Q, <laughs> you know, this might be a little bit too strict. <laughs> I would think this is a great move for a 10Q too, right? Like it totally makes sense. It's logical. It's, it's, it's a valuable move, right? They're not blanking on the board. So anyway, this can be kind of fun to play around with. Oh, down at the bottom here, again, my head and hair are sort of blocking. You can see these little orange lines um, showing you all the mistakes. So if I put this up to 9 Don Pro, you'll see little mistakes everywhere. It shows you the relative scale of those mistakes. Or again, if I put this to 30Q, it's like, oh, we played a perfect game. Like, this was, this was a marvelous game. No mistakes for a 30Q game. If we put it to a 30Q game, only one mistake. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so you can kind of, you can kind of gauge the level of any game just sort of by swiping through here and seeing, you know, what percentage of your moves were good for a given rank or around your rank or whatever rank your opponent was. And that's awesome. Like, love that feature. Okay. Here, my opponent makes a mistake. I make a mistake. We just trade mistakes. Overall, it is a net gain for me. Like my opponent's mistake is bigger. Um, I'm just trying to take away the shape point and be able to poke through here and or throw in here and make sure this group never really gets comfortable. Um, but again, the AI uh, says, nope, just jumping out is better. And it has this little unhappy face here saying this stone is actually in trouble, uh, which is interesting because it really doesn't feel like it's in trouble yet. <laughs> um, but you can kind of see that, oh, if, if white can get out and threaten my stick, uh, I might not have time to actually save this. I might have to worry about just those three. And so that's the thing that's predicting. You'll see these little happy face and unhappy faces. You can turn it off if you don't like it. Um, I find I, I find it to be amusing, first of all. But also it's really valuable to like, oh, right, I should be thinking about those stones there uh, that I had sort of forgotten about. And I think this comes up a lot more in Q games. We see a lot of like unhappy or happy stones um, on the board <laughs> in Q games. So we play this out. We place a couple of you know, good AI moves. Weiss is trying to get out. I'm trying to build up strength to attack this thing. Um, White connects here. Again, mistake. White really just needs to keep pushing, keep the momentum. Huge loss, it says. 7.7 .7 loss. You can see um, that, uh, you know, we were pretty close to an even game, but after here, you know, it's almost a 10-point advantage. Um, of course, I return just like the last time my opponent made a mistake. I make a mistake, too. I'm thinking I need to keep this all separated. Um, so I play this 41 move to keep this weak group, you know, basically unattached to anything else. Um, but again, the AI is like, no, 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 this is, this is the real theater to fight in is here. Uh, just keep your shape strong. White is still stronger. Even if white connects, there's still a wedge and there's still a cut. And if we play the correct move, we get all these unhappy faces. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> like these stones, super unhappy. Right now that I have a strong group here, these stones can only squirm their way out, which means I'm going to get all the left-hand side territory. Um, I'll be able to get, more than likely, be able to take initiative, be able to take sentai and come back and, and mess around with this group later, depending on where, I, where else I get strength. Um, super good result for black. Okay, but anyway, in the meantime, I don't play that. I... Uh, keep separating, and we keep extending, and white blunders again here, but I follow up with another mistake, and again, all these blunders, you can see, this is actually not a mistake, this is a blunder, like, really bad mistake, it's like, no, no, this is not important, uh, this is, this is super worrisome, this is troubling, this is whatever, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so, again, four and a half point loss, 
I only was a 2.1 loss. So you can see black building momentum on the chart right here. Um, of course, that all gets flipped momentarily when I don't play the correct shape move. And, oh man, uh, I follow up here. Again, mistake. Not a huge mistake. It's actually only 1.9 point loss. Um, which is interesting that it's calling a move that big a mistake rather than an inaccuracy. Um, but it still thinks this is just so important. Even though, even though in terms of points, it's relatively even. I don't know. I don't know what it's thinking. It's a robot. So I play here. Again, totally starting to put the pressure on here. White continues to put the pressure on here. And this is uh, the moment where momentum switches. And so in my own review of the game, I this this is... Uh, I'm going to pause here for a second. And again, I'm, um, I'm on 1P. I'm going to put this back down to 4, Don, or so. Um, this is the type of situation that I would need an AI to review, or someone really strong. Because this this is a one-line difference if you look between the AI recommended move, the blue spot, and the mistake that I played the red spot. These are really hard to spot. So if you get to the Don level, and you're playing lots of Go and you're finding that you're still getting beat, and you're reviewing your games, and you can't find what, out what's wrong, oh, this is, this is where you need AI. This is, or someone really strong, right, to find these little things. And I play this move. This is, this is a very conventional-looking move. Like, you have a, I have a three-stone wall here, one space to jump. It looks like it kind of works with everything. It kind of ties all the stones together, but it actually doesn't do as good of a job as that as this. And even though there is a shape weakness here, you know, white can't really play this directly <laughs> um, because then white gets the corner completely surrounded and or eaten. <laughs> uh, this move is actually is a direct threat against all these stones. And I don't really care about these three stones. Like, I don't really need to save them. That's, they're not the important stones. Yes, I would like to save them to keep the pressure on this white group. But this game has never been about this. From the beginning, the AI has been telling me, you know, with all these little... Uh, subtle ways that, oh yeah, this is the important side. And furthermore, this move, oops, uh, uh, oops, this move is actually much better for this push. Right, now this shape kind of makes sense. When, whoa, what is that? Don't know, okay, interesting. Um, when I play this, you can see there's still no eye here, and there's a cut or a peep here, right? There's, there's actually just still really severe defects that are uh, pretty easily exploitable now with this cut, with this type of move. So um, this, this push here becomes really annoying. This move doesn't really fix it. And so this move, oh, push, not a big deal, whatever. And so this move, um, even though it doesn't, it doesn't work with these three stones as well, again, it's all about this and it prevents this push from really pushing through. And that's really hard to determine for yourself, right? When you go back and review, like these little shape things, at least for me, those are the hard parts and where AI is most valuable. And so you can see that graph right here above my hair just flips into white. Just that small one line of difference. Doesn't go amazing? Like, like you're off by a hair and the game turns. Um, white takes all this momentum now to basically get this group out. Um, I'm getting behind enemy lines, white's getting strong here, getting strong here, and I'm nervous, right? Because I, I don't really have eyes. Um, and this is another shape moment where I Hane, and, you know, the um, AI says that's good, but it gives me this as its preferred option, which was not on my radar. This shape looks so bad. <laughs> like, like it, or it looks like it's not going to result in eyes, basically. Um, you know, after here, here, here maybe throw in like there's no eyes here and so what is this one stone doing and so when i play here i'm i'm, I'm asking for oh can i have some eyes along the way too while i'm getting out can i can, oh, and also lean on this um but no yeah he says this so again hard hard choice um for the record they're about even but it's just the interesting that the a prefers that one the one that's not on my radar at all anyway i'm getting out uh, everybody's group is getting stronger, um, with the possible exception of this one, we haven't attended, or White hasn't attended to that one's health in a while. White does able to get the initiative to double Hani over here, and, um, you know, take some, you know, basically beat up on the side a little bit in order to get more strength. 
this is a great moment for me to actually just say, you know what? I've got a strong group here and there's nothing you can do about it. Like I've guaranteed two eyes now. Um, if white takes this one away, you know, I have multiple options in here to get the second eye. Um, and vice versa, if white starts poking, boom, I, and I. So this makes me indestructible in the middle of all the white strong groups. So very nice. Um, but in the game, of course, I don't want to allow this. I don't, I don't, I don't want white to just get all this for free. Like, look at this Panuki. Like, you don't want to give your opponents Panuki. AI says that's fine. <laughs> like, it's totally worth solidifying the center in this case. And not human. And that's what a lot of, even pro players are training themselves, right, to not be attached to these very human idioms and try to think like a robot more, right? Be willing to give up a panuki on the side. Um, all this side strength. Oh, man. Uh, so anyway, interesting, interesting. I connect because I'm a human, and the AI says it's 3.2 loss, buddy. Like, after this, we're go we've gone from an even game, all right, right back to a white advantage. And now is a good time for white to poke through, which white does. I connect this way. Um, they're ba they're almost identical. Like, it says actually plus or minus zero. Like, doesn't functionally matter how this all gets connected and out. But I'm still behind enemy lines, so I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm worrisome. That's why white has this advantage here, is that even though, um, you know, black doesn't have many problems, black also doesn't have many points, um, but, like, like, the fewer problems that, everybody has on this board, it's to white's benefit. Remember, white was the one who, who overextended early on, who came up here, who kind of left this group to die a little bit. You know, as those problems get knocked off, that Comey starts to get bigger and bigger. Black has no real moyos or territory, and so this game kind of swings into my opponent's favor. Um, I take this, which is another, it's a smaller mistake, but still a mistake. I don't need it to live. Um... I, I, you know, if I don't play this, white gets a whole bunch of sente against this group, and I just didn't want to allow that. And this move is huge in terms of point value. Um, like, <laughs> you know, it, it, tur it turns a group that's only maybe worth, you know, four or five points into a group that's worth, like, you know, 15 points. Um, but, you know, that's not, that's not quite big enough. There's more important things to do. Um, again, white... Presses here with a double, another double Hane. And this is, this is a subtlety, I still don't quite understand it entirely. It doesn't want me to make this cut. It wants white to have this burden over here, um, this Aji, and have to fix um, while I get out. And when I take this cut first and then play this move, you know, white... <laughs> This is, this is a weird situation where there's actually a ladder going this way that doesn't work for, for me, and there's a ladder going this way that doesn't work for white because um, of this stone and this stone. And this is kind of weird. Um, I don't want to get too caught up in it, but um, the next move, right, is where white starts to lose momentum. This cut isn't good for white. Um, and you can also see this little unhappy face here. It's like, oh, yeah, this is not a problem because I have this peep. You'll see this coming up soon. I'm, I'm going to make a bunch of exchanges over here, basically just to corral this group into nothing. And there's a nice, there's a nice actual Tsuji in here to reduce the liberties. Um, I just play it kind of normal. We play here, here, and here, and then uh, this move. I take this peep, and this peep means I can capture this stone. So this is a nice combination, right? We still have this unresolved sort of ladder fight here regarding the health of this group. Peep and ladder, you know, this ladder save the stone. Now my, my group is strong. However, Robot doesn't like it. Robot says, oh yeah, you have a stick over here. This is actually bigger. You can still fight to get out. Very, very, like we're talking very slight differences in, in point values, but man, uh, the AI can give you lots of ideas when you're reviewing your game. Uh, anyway, I take this ladder because it makes me feel safe and secure, and also this bottom can get very big for white now, so I need to have a strong group nearby to anchor so I can reduce and invade and do everything. However, um, white's going to come after this, which is strong, and I play, I got a little creative here, I play this move, which is definitely like a very human, well, actually it's kind of an AI feeling move, although the AI does not like it. Um, AI attack, or the white player attacks my wall, I counterattack it. And I'm expecting just to basically get, get a little exchange here, which more or less happens. Um, this next move is a mistake. I trick white, essentially, into capturing two stones. 
And so that's good for me. But then I make another mistake to completely solidify this, um, which looks good to my eye, right? Again, I wish I had my pen tool because look at this, <clears throat> this, this stick that was weak before is now actually fairly strong. This stone isn't connected yet. It needs a move to connect. And I'm back to attacking my original target after this ladder. And that's why the AA wants to play 96 and come out. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm back in the game. Like, I, I kind of get out of trouble just giving up a couple stones. Um, but the AI says, no, 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 no. Thinking about this all wrong. Um, what's important here isn't the stick. It's actually this. Isn't that amazing? Like, this, this doesn't matter. It's actually very awkward for white to do anything with these two stones because they just don't have the liberties. Right? They can't, they can't come out like this, obviously. Uh... Also, the system is going very chuggy tonight. That previous move says it's a mistake. Yeah, white will just, you know, maybe eat two more stones. But, oh man, this whole white dragon here is in super trouble. So, anyway, you can play lots of fantasy land kind of stuff here. Um, but, this is a really key moment because, you know, white makes this exchange... Um, and, and you can see, like, we're, we're playing all this stuff down here, but the AI just wants to play this. And so why, if that, you can ask, right? If you see this repeated sequence, you can see all these little jagged lines. That means where both players are missing something important. Um, my black stick is actually not alive after white plays this, meaning this move is sente. And if this move is sente, <laughs> um, you know, that means white actually can make life down here. Whereas if... I play this, or actually, yeah, I guess technically wants white to Hane. Still same same idea, right? This is Sente against my stick group. Totally not 100% alive. I need to work hard to become alive. Um, either one, really. Um, so whoever plays there first, right, ba basically saves black. If, if black plays there, it's worth a lot of points. And it also means white can't get settled. And so normally you want to hem in your group, your opponent's group, that is, before they can... Um, get out and force them to live small. Like, that's always a, a very good go proverb. Force your opponent to live small. And so I want to play big stuff out here and fight about this. Um, this totally runs counter to that. It says, no, no, don't worry about your opponent living small in this case. Instead, make sure your opponent can't play the sente moves to live at all. <laughs> and that's sort of the distinction here. So we're both just missing it, and the robot doesn't really know what to do with it, so it just goes back and forth. Um, white jumps out. Again, the robot's just going to be mad. All these are going to be thought of as sort of like mistakes. It's just unhappy that either of us are playing over here and just wants to come and do this. Um, really doesn't like this move, though, for white. Like, this... Yeah. Like, it's such a... It doesn't actually connect. It's still it's black disconnect if black wants. It, it, it just doesn't do much. Um, I play a shape move that I thought in the game was very nice, similar to how I had this dragon that just needed to make a little bit shape and get strong so it, so it didn't... So it could do things behind all this enemy strength. I have this white group here, this white group here, and now this white group here. And I'm just in the middle of it all, of those three. So I just wanted to play a shape move to make some eyes. Um, this felt really ambitious given the timing. Um, as if I, if, now that this is strong, if this corner gets out, oh man, this white, this white dragon is gonna fall into trouble. And you can see actually, yeah, this, this, is, this is amazing. After I play this move, the AI says, oh, by the way, these stones are now real happy. <laughs> and isn't that weird? Like, isn't that far out? It's, well, yeah, they're real happy because even though I don't have a guaranteed two eyes for this group, this having a move here gives, number one, a, a, just literally one more friend to run to, but also make sure that I have a group down here I can lean on to make sure this group gets out. And uh, I still have this dragon that I can lean on to get out. So, like, like... This move here, the AI has figured out, oh, it actually totally solves all my problems over here, or potential problems later on. Like many moves down the road. And so that's amazing. Again, White's trying to live down here, and White says, fine, like, connects. He sees all the black strength, black strength lets us connect. And uh, <laughs> it's unha very unhappy with the white move, even more unhappy with the black move, does not like me taking the corner here, because this doesn't do anything other than just make the corner territory and keep my stone safe. That's all it does. It doesn't put any more pressure on white. Um, it says, right here, you have to play here. And if you get this, this white dragon's in trouble. Yes, my corner is not at all solidified, but 
you know, we're talking about the dragon. Like, it, the AI is just, this is the AI saying, you know, keep your mind on what's important. You know, white plays here, I have to respond. Um, and white even finds time to, to come back and play here, although the robot doesn't really like it. Because, um, again, this, this dragon is not settled. You can see it's constantly pinging around this dragon. It's like, look, this is, this is what the game is about right now. Um, I take uh, this move, which doesn't like too much. It's only two points, but it likes the, the white response even less. I take the shoulder hit. Again, I'm gearing up for something big, right? I'm, I'm putting all the pieces together to come down with the hammer and get something here. It doesn't like any of this plan, but at least I have a plan. It actually does kind of like this move, which is fascinating, to set up this attachment. If you play here, you can play here, and then you can play here. And that's kind of a nice Tesuji um, in this case. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to harass this bottom while building strength here so that it, this, you know, this center group can totally just, you know, focus on doing some real damage uh, to the white, to the white dragon or this three group, this three stone group. White plays this bumping move, big mistake. And you can see white's, white's uh, lead. Again, this is, this is fairly narrow. We're not talking about, no one has a lead, I think, of ever more than 10 points. Maybe I do it like briefly there. Um, certainly white never crossed the 10 point threshold. So uh, here to here, um, white, white is, by making all these exchanges, actually making black much stronger. And keep in mind, white has the territory in this game currently, it, it looks like, because this bottom left looks huge. And I have, I have, okay, you know, decent territory here, some points here, and some points here, but that's about it. Like, I don't have a lot. I need, I need to attack and, and be very aggressive or have some invasion go really well down here to win this game. Um, and so Weiss is trying to stay solid, but is doing it so ineffectively. I offer a compromise here where I'm like, hey, can I just eat these two stones? And that way I'll get a corner that's almost maybe two-thirds the size of your Moyo. Um, and after this... Actually, it's funny. After this move, it's saying, oh, yeah, this dragon is in pretty big trouble. <laughs> like, that's a that's some very unhappy dragon. Um, because, oh man, after the AI, or the, uh, my opponent responds here, whew, this is, this white group has got very limited options for friends. It can kind of connect here, it can kind of connect there, but both those connections are not very, not very good. Everything else around it is black. Um, and now I play this kill move here. And it's like, wow, the AI would play the same. All right, so now, oh, this is, this is, um, black has swung the lead. I'm back in command. This white little mini dragon has a problem. And keep in mind, right, this, this full dragon here also is not, um, can, can still be harassed a little bit further. Okay. White tries to get out here, here, here. Um, these are all just sort of poke moves. Um, but white's going to blunder pretty hard in here. Starting with this one. This move actually doesn't really accomplish anything. And white's going to crawl again. And... And at this point, white need ugh, this. This is too slow. This doesn't work. Basically, after this exchange, um, white can't make these live. <laughs> after I guess yeah, after uh, particularly after this one, you can see that just just falls off the chart. This whole white little mini dragon just had no place to run. Um, and so you know, we play a few more moves. White makes one eye, but then you know, pretty much concludes that. You know, the game ends currently right around the uh, the point where White resigned. It's a, it gave a 40-point lead for Black, but again, that's irrelevant. This is a dragon died. Okay, so anyway, sorry, that, that was kind of a fast and maybe sometimes a little bit too heady of a, of a game review, but I'm just taking it with it how, how I would use AI Sensei for this. I haven't yet shown you my favorite feature, though, and so that's that's the thing. If we go down here and go to Problems... This is this is this is my favorite part. Um, here, let, let me let me show you the problem first. Pun intended. That's terrible. Uh, often, when you do like AI reviews, your brain turns to mush. Like like I've I've sort of mentioned before, you go down these rabbit holes, you get these numbers, you get these weird, you know, things coming at you, and it makes it real hard to feel like you're learning anything. And one of the problems like that, with ice, we've already kind of talked about, is conceptually. AIs don't think like humans. They can't really teach humans, at least not currently, in, in a way that makes sense to us. 
so you know it just it it like we it doesn't it doesn't translate to heuristics and education and actually improving your go game and that's where things like the discussion board hopefully improve that but there's another thing that you can do and it's that where where you can identify a clear mistake again cutting away all that garbage all that crap just reviewing that mistake like repetition of those situations that are that you do kind of understand or appreciate is so good for your learning. Again, my day job, I'm a teacher. And so I know the importance of repetition for my students. If they do something once, and then I ask them to do it on a test, like, you know, three weeks later, you know, 10% of them can do it, right? Like, like, that's it. Like, like, that's not how human brains work. We need that practice. We need to put it into practice. And that's where this quiz button is so amazing. And so we can click this button, it opens up a whole new window. It's real exciting. You can put your student level. It'll actually show you how many problems are on the quiz. You have some other advanced options. I'm going to skip those for now, though. Uh, I only want to look at black. Let's only look at my moves. And basically, it'll take, you know, depending on how bad your game is, right, or how many problems there are, or how many mistakes you make, it'll make a quiz for you based on the mistakes in your game. Isn't that amazing? And again, if I up the level, there'll be a lot more problems in the quiz. If I put this down... Right, like if I if I say this is a five Q game, you get a one problem quiz. Right, you played a beautiful five Q game with just one problem. Let's see how far down we have to put this for there to be. Oh, if I if, if we uh, around fourteen K. If if I if I tell the AI this is a fourteen Q game, they're like, you don't need to take a quiz. You aced it. <laughs> like like beautiful game. Good job. Move on with your life. Right, but here, let's take the Ford on quiz and show you what it looks like. And here we go. It opens up the the board, and this is this is it's literally my game, the game that I played, and it, and this is a quiz position, and there are hints and also solutions, <clears throat> and the question is what should black do after white plays here, and so all those AI rabbit holes and all that review you did with the game is now being reinforced, and oh my God, is that such an awesome feature, and here I think uh, I th uh, well two options either here or here right, and I think it's this one, yeah. Um, you know, don't get distracted. Let white connect if white wants. You can still cut through later. This is what's important, right? Just get out, make the right shape. Nice, correct, well done. Next problem. This one. Oh yeah, same thing, right? This is where I made, um, I can't remember which one I played actually in the game. If I played this one first or this one first. I think it was this one. Yeah, must have been, right? Uh, same thing. Yeah, it's actually the same. <laughs> correct. It's the same situation, same, same everything. So that feels a little redundant, but... <laughs> Again, reinforcement is good. Repetition is good. Here, yeah, this this was another major turning point. I remember in the game I played this move. This was the game move. That was a mistake. Uh, and it was a mistake because this was basically Sente for White to, to help out their base and take away mine. Or not take it away, but at least reduce it in Sente. So I need to play there. Yep, correct. Well done. Nice. See, look, I'm learning. I'm learning. This is real learning. Here, oh, this is interesting. Um, because in the game, I think I played there, right? Isn't that what I played? Oh, no, 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 I played, I played this first. Yeah, and it didn't like that. Um, <clears throat> there's not actually guaranteed two eyes down here, so I should just play this directly. No, really? Oh. All right, all right. I don't. Uh, so I can. I it, it now it's already given me a hint because I messed up. I'm um, saying it's in this area of the board, and so I'm now almost certain it's got to be a move like this just to prevent this connection just from the get go. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and it also shows my mistake move from the game. So I only scored a 75% in the quiz. It's only a C. Um, but again, you can do this again. You can just restart it. <coughs> And review again. And it's that, man, cut to the chase, repetition, uh, that I think makes this AI tool actually, you know, significantly more useful from a pedagogical perspective than just reviewing your game with, you know, Lizzie or, or you know, Kotago, any of the other, you know, interfaces or engines. Um, just having that ability to, to, you know, regurgitate, repeat, repractice those things from your actual games that will help you learn. Um, and it's both really exciting and really scary too, right? Like, like how efficient you can get at this. Um, and I, and I know this was in the before times, 
Uh, but the last the last big tournament I played bef- before COVID, uh, right? There was a go player there. I think he was he was five or six done, and I ended up beating I ended up beating him in a tournament. Um, but he had never learn to play like he'd never played on a real board before like that turn was his first real board game because he had just been playing with ai 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 um and so totally fascinating like to me as a um you know as a go player that you know you have you get to the level of i think i can't remember if he was five down or six down i feel like he was five down or i i wish i remembered but you get to that high level never having touched like a real ghost stone <laughs> Right, just from training with AI tools. Oh man, it can be done now, and that's the scary part. It's like, oh wow, we've 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 lost our culture a little bit of, um, you know, what what Go is, right? And it really is a, a game between people. It's a it's a it's an active communication experience for two people to share. So, all right. Anyway, uh, I, I apologize if that game review got a little technical. Hopefully, you stayed with me to this part because again, I want to talk about presence one more time. So. Um, I've got some giveaways from AI Sensei. Like I said, if you go to the bottom, anyone can just go and, and get a get an upgraded membership for free if you do it before January. And so there is a time limit, like a very like time of the essence. You got basically a week um, from this video to post to sign up and give it a try if you want to get some free access to some of the the upper level features at AISensei.com. Again, I'll have those information at the bottom. Um, but I'm also going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give. Uh, uh, three, I think it's three. Is it three? I think I have to remember how many they gave me to give away. I'm not, I, I'm not, I haven't done giveaways before, right? This is like not a normal thing for this channel. This, is, this operates as a, you know, like kind of its own thing. I need to have a better system for this. Anyway, um, I'm going to give three, uh, you know, upgraded memberships to my Patreon supporters. And so I'll uh, I'll look at my Patreon supporters. This will be on December 27th. Basically, I'm going to go through my list of Patreon supporters. I'm just going to, you know, have, download the spreadsheet and pick three random rows, you know, generate three random rows. And I'll, I'll reach out to those people and award those people the free, with a free membership. Um, I'm going to also uh, ba- look at the comments for this video and anyone who comments on this video, I'm going to automatically enter you into two other upgraded memberships. And so I think I think I have five to give away. I hope I have five to give away. Um, and that's how I'm going to do it. So if you are interested in getting a, getting an even higher level membership, and I can't remember, well, let me let me just put, let me let me, t- let me look this up exactly what I have. Pause first. All right, we're back. Sorry. All right. Again, I'm terrible at giving away things. Apparently, yes. Yeah, so the free the free. Membership for anyone who gets the link gets a Don level membership. We'll upgrade to a Don level. Um, the memberships that I'm talking about giving away these extra five are going to be pro level. So you get you know all the pro, all the you know possible playouts that the servers are currently supporting, all the features. You know it's 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 the the big one. Both of them are good for one month, and both of them you have to sign up before January. So you have to sign up during the month of December. So here's how it's going to work. By Monday, December 27th, I'm going to look at everyone who commented on this video. And you say whatever you want. Like, I hope you say something nice. But whatever you want, you know, as long as it's not deleted by the YouTube algorithms, basically. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, again, I'll just put them all in a spreadsheet. You know, pick two at random. You've won a pro membership for a month. You do have to sign up before before 2022, but... That's awesome, right? Who wouldn't want to try this out for a, at a pro level for free? Um, also, what I don't even know what this costs. This costs money. I don't know how much. Go to the site and take a look at it. I'm not. I'm so not good at this. Anyway, uh, or if you want to double, more than double your, yeah, way more than double your chances probably, I guess, given the number of, of potential comments this video could receive. Um, also sign up to be my Patreon. And as long as you're in good standing, and again, you don't need to sign up for a whole lot. I have a recommended tier of $3, um, to sign up to be my Patreon supporter. Uh, if you sign up for the the $3 pledge, you will also get entered into, into the chance to win three more pro memberships or one of three more pro memberships, I should say. Um, again, I'm going to do all this on December 27th. So, uh, I don't know what day it is now. Is it the 22nd, I guess? 23rd? Why? Well, I don't even know what day it is. We don't, we don't have a lot of time is what I'm saying. So get on it, okay? If you want the upgraded pro memberships, if you just want to sign up for the free one, this has all got to happen pretty fast, okay, before 2022. 
so those are my presents for you guys. I hope you're all enjoying or prepping or getting ready for a, a real nice Christmas. I know it's always weird to have like videos come out around around the big holidays um, for any content creator, um, just because people are are so in flux and out of their normal routine. But I do hope a lot of people you, of you know of you guys do see this video and uh, you know take advantage of this. You know at least at least go try it out. At least go try out AI Sensei um, and and see how it could possibly improve your game. And I fully expect some of you are going to try it out and be like, nope, uh-uh, not for me. Nope, no robots. I, I, I like playing Go. Like, I, I love playing Go. I don't want to ruin that with this uh, demonic tool sent from, you know, the zeros, the bits of zeros and ones. And yeah, that's great. I, I love you people. Keep doing what you're doing. Those of you who are looking for a little bit more computer help, man, this might be a good way to start if you haven't already explored it. And even those of you who have installed engines, you might find that the extra tools here and the discussion forum page and the sharing page with that and the, uh, again, those quizzes, this might be exactly what you need to bring your game to the next level. So anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Uh, this is very likely going to be my, um, I'll, I'll do like a little update video or maybe I'll probably just, I'll probably just, I don't know if I'll do a whole video about it, but I'll, I'll certainly contact the other people who are the winners um, before the end of the year, obviously you know, on the 27th. Um, but this is very likely going to be my last video for 2021. Um, so I hope you guys, you know, stay subscribed, look forward to my next video in 2022. Um, so happy new year, Merry Christmas, whatever holiday you celebrate or is co um, coming up next for you, you know, go forth, play, go and make the world a better place. Thanks for watching. <laughs>